Next race is the relay. Each child needs to pick a parent to race with. Peppa, pick me! Pick me! But, Daddy, you're not very good at running. <sighs> I was very good when I was a little piggy. But now you have a big tummy. But I can still touch my toes. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> All right, Daddy. <sighs> but you must run very fast. <laughs> the mummies and daddies will run the first part of the race and then hand the batons to the children. Mummies and daddies. Ready, steady, go! Run, Daddy! Daddy Pig is in the lead. Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Thank you, Daddy. You did very well. Now it's my turn to Pepper, stop talking and run! Oh! <laughs> Keep on running! Keep running! Keep running. Keep running. Go on! And the winner is Emily Elephant. Hooray! <laughs> oh, Daddy, I haven't won a prize yet. Don't worry, Peppa. There's still one more event. And now for the last event of the day, the tug of war. Boys against girls. <laughs> when I say go, you must pull the rope with all your strength. The girls will win. No, they won't. The boys will win. Ready, steady, go. Come, Come on, boys. boys. Come on, pull. Come, Come on, on, the girls. girls. Pull. I am pulling. Everyone is pulling so hard, the rope is breaking. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and the result is a draw. So both teams win! Hooray! I love the school sports day, especially when I win a prize. <laughs> Here is Peppa's best friend, Susie Sheep. Susie has two tennis rackets. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Let's play tennis. Yes! That sounds fun. To you, Susie. Oh. Susie has missed the ball. <laughs> oh. Pepper has missed the ball. <laughs> Pepper and Susie like playing tennis, but George feels a bit left out. Oh, sorry, George. You can't play tennis. We only have two rackets. <laughs> I know. George can be the ball boy. Yes. It's a very important job. George is going to be the ball boy. He has to collect the ball when it is hit too far. To you, Susie. Oh, missed it. Ball boy. <laughs> 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 Thank you, ball boy. Oh, ball boy. <laughs> Thank you, ball boy. Ball boy. Oh dear, George doesn't like this game. <laughs> Here are Danny Dog, Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Rebecca Rabbit and Richard Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. We're playing tennis. Can we play too? But there aren't enough rackets. Oh. oh. Hello, children. Are you ready to exercise? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit. Oh. Do we have to do that? No, that's only for big athletes like me. Uh, not for little explorers like you. We're not explorers. I'll make explorers of you, but you, you look like a superhero. Uh, it's just pretend. Pretending? That's good. Right, let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and clap your arms. <laughs> now, stretch. Stretch. 
Wobble like a jelly! <laughs> Rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. Oh, that's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> but it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. <sighs> Everyone crosses the Pretend River safely. Hooray! Well done, my little explorers! What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! I can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. Let those crocodiles know who's boss. Go away, you naughty crocodiles. That's the spirit. Did you ever swing across a crocodile swamp? Of course I did. Were you scared? Not as scared as they were of me. <laughs> Let's have a little practice game. Split into two teams. Boys against girls. <laughs> the girls are in one team, the boys are in the other. That's not fair. We've got little ones on our team. Don't worry, the boys' team will still win. Yeah, we're a super team. <laughs> ah. Emily Elephant is very good at reaching high with her trunk. <laughs> using her trunk. It's not fair. Shush, Peppa. She's on our side. Oh, yes, that is fair. <coughs> it's not fair. We want Emily on our team. No, she's in our team. Stop arguing. You can all be in the same team. OK. <laughs> the children are all in one big team. Oh, but who will we play? Um, well... Hello. The parents have come to take the children home. I know. You can play the grown-ups. But they are bigger than us. Ah, but you've been taught basketball by Daddy Coach. Yes. Let's play them. We're the children's team. Yay! We're the grown-ups team. All right. I'm quite good at cricket. Yes, well, this is basketball. You throw the ball through the hoop. But you can only use your hands. Or your trunk. But not your feet. Ready, steady, go! Mr Elephant has the ball. Tackled by George. Pass to Zoe Zebra. To Richard Rabbit. And Pepper throws it through the hoop. Yippee! The children have won. Hooray! All thanks to Daddy Coach. <laughs> what shall I do first? Touch your toes like this. Easy. Daddy, stop pretending that you can't touch your toes. Uh, I'm not pretending, Pepper. Daddy Pig really cannot touch his toes. Oh dear, Daddy. That's not very good. Hmm. Maybe I should do a bit of exercise. Yes, Daddy. And I will start tomorrow. Daddy Pig, you have to start exercising now. Oh. Don't worry, Daddy. I will help you. Oh, all right. Peppa, you're in charge of getting me fit. What should I do first? First, you must do some press-ups. Easy. One. Two. There. Very 
good, Daddy. Now I want you to do 100. 100? Yes. Come on, children. Help me make lunch. I'll help as well. No, Daddy. You've got 100 press-ups to do. Oh. One. <laughs> two. <laughs> three. Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are in the five, kitchen making lunch. Six, Daddy Pig is still seven, doing his press ups. Eight, Daddy is doing very nine, well. Ten. Yes, 11, I do hope he's not overdoing 12, it. I'll go and see. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Daddy Pig, you're cheating. You should be doing press ups. Oh, uh, there was something interesting on the TV. Naughty Daddy. Maybe Daddy will have more success with my old exercise bike. Aha! This looks like fun. I'll be able to cycle and watch TV at the same time. It's impossible. This bike is too noisy. I can't hear the TV. You've got to get fit somehow. Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have a pet parrot. Pepper, George, this is our pet parrot. <coughs> She's called Polly. Pretty Polly. Ah, pretty Polly! Wow! I am a clever parrot. Ah, I'm a clever parrot! <laughs> <coughs> Mummy, why does Polly copy everything that Granny says? That's what parrots do. I'll show you. Hello, Polly. Hello, Polly! What a sweet little parrot. What a sweet little parrot! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Tea time. Pepper, George, come on. There's chocolate cake. Come in, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George love eating chocolate cake, but today they are in a hurry to get back and play with Polly Parrot. Finished! <laughs> <laughs> what noisy little ones you are! Granny, <laughs> please can we leave the table and go and see Polly Parrot? Are you sure you've completely finished your cake? <laughs> Off you go then. <laughs> George, say something to Polly. George is a little bit shy. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are really enjoying playing with Polly Parrot. <laughs> Mummy, I think they want some more. That was the last of the bread. I'm sure they've had enough. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs Duck. We've no more bread. <laughs> the ducks want more food. So much for Daddy Pig and his exercise. <laughs> uh, what? You lot again? Pepper told you, there's no more bread. Mummy, we do have strawberry cake. Well, if there's any cake left over, you can give it to the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone likes Mummy Pig's homemade strawberry cake. Ooh, a wasp. I hate wasps. Shoo! What a fuss, Mummy Pig. It's only a little wasp. <gasps> Go away, wasp! Just stay still, Mummy Pig, then it will fly away. <sniffs> there, you see? All you had to do was stay still. Eh? Get away! Scram! <sniffs> Help! <sniffs> Shoo! <sniffs> Get it off me! I hope the wasp doesn't sting, Daddy. Oh, get away, you little pest! No, Daddy Pig is running too fast for the wasp to catch him. <laughs> Let's eat our cake before the wasp comes back. <laughs> oh no, we forgot to leave any for the ducks. 
I think I lost it. You said you would run around and get some exercise, Daddy Pig, but I didn't believe you'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I managed to hang on to my slice of strawberry cake. Stop, Daddy! We promised the rest of the cake for the ducks. Oh. You are very lucky, ducks. <laughs> Say thank you to Daddy Pig. You're most welcome. Ho <laughs> ho! It's time to go home. Say goodbye to the ducks. Bye bye, ducks. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> George and Grandpa Pig are having such fun being wriggly worms. <laughs> I'm a little butterfly. I'm a little butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I'm a butterfly. Yes, Pepper, you're a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa George, what are you doing? We are wriggly worms. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a wriggly worm too. I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> I'm a wiggly worm. I'm a wiggly worm. How do you do? I love you. I'm a wiggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. What animal do you want to be now? Hmm. I don't know. <coughs> Look, Grandpa. There's a little frog. <coughs> Why don't you play at being frogs? Hmm, frogs are not as pretty as butterflies, or as wiggly as worms. But frogs do play a game you like. Hmm, do frogs play dolls' houses? Ho, 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 silly Peppa. What's your favourite game? Jumping in muddy puddles. <coughs> yes, frogs love jumping in muddy puddles. <coughs> yes, George. Let's play frogs. I'm a little froggy. I'm a little froggy. <laughs> <laughs> the froggies have found a nice big muddy puddle to play in. Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Butterflies and worms are very nice, but I like frogs the best. <laughs> <laughs> There's a spider in my bedroom. Oh, oh don't worry, Pepper. Please, Daddy, take it away. <laughs> no need to panic. Hello, George. Have you seen the spider? It's too scary. Take it away. There's no need to be afraid, Pepper. Spiders are very, very small, and they can't hurt you. But don't worry. Daddy will take it out of the bedroom. Whoa! He's quite big, isn't he? Um, I'll just fetch Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig! <laughs> Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. Pepper feels a little bit braver. He likes being in my doll's house. Hello, children. I hear you found a little spider. I'll take him out of the bedroom so you two can play. Mummy, his name is Mr. Skinny Legs. Ah! Mr. Skinny Legs is big, isn't he? <laughs> Pepper and George like the spider. <laughs> night, night. George is putting the spider to bed. No, George. He wants some tea. He doesn't want to be in bed. <laughs> Are you hungry, Mr. Skinny Legs? Would you like some cake? Pepper isn't afraid of the spider anymore. Mummy, Daddy, sit down. We are all going to have tea with Mr. Skinny Legs. Who wants tea? Me, please. Me, please. <coughs> Delicious. 
Peppa loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Here's your tea, Mr Skinny Legs. What's that? You want to say hello to my daddy? Hello, Mr Daddy Pig. Hey, uh, that's all right, Peppa. <laughs> Let Mr Skinny Legs drink his tea. You're not scared, are you, Daddy? Oh, no. Of course not. Well, <laughs> not so close. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> Oh, Peppa likes Mr. Skinny Legs. Everyone likes Mr. Skinny Legs. V. A. N. Let's race to Peppa's house. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Press this button and it just disappears. Ooh! Oh. Oh. And if you push this button, you can play CDs. <laughs> the friends have all finished together. Everyone's a winner! <laughs> but we've only got one cup. My van has a winner's cup for everyone. Hooray! Mr Fox, is there anything you don't have in your van? Try me. Have you got a banjo? Four or five string. <laughs> you won't have a tree in your van. <laughs> Apple or pear? I bet you haven't got a rocket in there. Boxes of five. What about a chicken? One chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Fox's van is magic. It's a super van. Yes, it is. Come on, Freddy. We'd better get home. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Have you got a bouncy castle? Yep. A garden shed? Yep. I've got everything. <laughs> oh, I've got no petrol. Mr Fox has everything in his van, except petrol. Hmm, I need to get to the petrol station. I would tow you, but I haven't got a tow rope. Oh, I've got plenty of them. I do them in packs of five. Can we come along too? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Daddy Pig is towing Mr Fox's van to the petrol station. <laughs> Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Look at George's racing car. <laughs> wow. I'll race you. And me. And me. I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Peppa? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Peppa. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that do? You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <sniffs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready? <laughs> Steady? <laughs> go! Yeah. And they're off. Yeah. Come, Come on, George! George. Yeah. That's the end of lap yeah. one and George is yeah. in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. Yeah. That's the end of lap two, and George is still in the lead. <laughs> oh, dear. A wheel has come off George's car. Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am. What do we do? Put the wheel back on. OK, okay chief mechanic. mechanic. Yeah. Oh, dear. George is now at the back of the race. Pedal faster, George! 
got the best chief mechanic in the whole world, too. Yes, that's me. <laughs> B. O. A. Take a little boat. You call it by ringing this bell. Hello there! It is Grampy Rabbit in his rowing boat. Would you like to cross the river? Yes, please! <laughs> oh, stop, Daddy Pig. There's no more room. Oh. Bye-bye, Daddy. Don't worry. I'll come straight back for you. Bye. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! <laughs> Picnic spot. Everybody off. Thank you, Grumpy Rabbit. Daddy Pig is still waiting to get across the river. Hello, Mr. Pig. Here are the wolf family. What are you doing here? We're having a picnic. Would you like to join us? Yes, please, Mr. Pig. Ah, more passengers. Uh, women and children first. <laughs> oh, stop! Uh, the boat is full. Oh. I'll be straight back for you two. Bye-bye. Row, row, row your boat gently down the creek. If you see a big fat wolf, don't forget to shriek. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Wendy. We're joining your picnic. Oh, goody. But where's Daddy Pig? I left him with Mr Wolf. I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. We've got the picnic. All aboard! Oh, stop, Mr Wolf. Uh, there's not enough room for you. Oh, dear. I've got an idea. You wait here, Grumpy Rabbit, and we'll go over. All right. I could do with the rest. Mr Wolf and Mr Pig are crossing the river together. I'm really hungry now. Hooray! We're here. Hello, Daddy. Where's the picnic? Who? Oh. Grumpy Rabbit is waiting with the picnic. I forgot the picnic. <laughs> you can't have a picnic without a picnic. Oh, oh you're right there. Uh, what about me, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, no room, Daddy Pig. I'll come back for you. Ah. Uh, oh. C K E T What have I got here? A rock. Yes, but not any old rock. I found it on the moon. Ooh. My dad sells rocks in packs of five. Yes, thank you, Freddy. You don't need to go to the moon to get them. You do if you want moon rock. Grumpy Rabbit, how did you go to the moon? I flew in a rocket. It's a bit small. This is just a model. The rocket I went in was ginormous. Do you all know how to count to five? Yes! One, two, three, four... Excellent. But when you go into space, you count backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. And then you have to shout blast off as loudly as possible. Blast off! I can't hear anything. Blast off! Vroom! There 
there I was, flying through space. And then I landed on the moon. It was so beautiful up there, I was lost for words. That sounds nice. Did you know you can jump really high on the moon? Oh, how high? As high as a house. Why can you jump so high on the moon? Um. The gravitational pull is smaller on the moon. Oh, yes, that's it. They're quite the clever clogs, aren't we? Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. I was a little bit lonely up there with just the moon and the stars. And the most exciting bit was... What's the most exciting bit, Grumpy Rabbit? I can't hear you. Why has he stopped talking? Oh dear, Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. Where's Daddy? He's bringing a secret surprise. Beep, beep. Beep. What's that? It's a camper van. We've borrowed it for our holiday. Ooh. This camper van has everything. This button works the sink. Wow! And this button works the TV. <laughs> <laughs> what does this button do? I'm not sure. Maybe don't press it until we know. Is everybody ready to go on holiday? Yes, yes Mummy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, this map is a bit tricky. Daddy, we don't want to get lost. Don't worry, Pepper. I'm an expert at map reading. Oh. That's strange. Are we lost? Uh, yes. It's Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. We're lost. Lost? Is your sat-nav broken? Sat-nav? You're driving a camper van T3200. Sat-nav comes as standard. Welcome to the car of the future. Ah, so that's what that button does. Where are we going today? The camper van is talking. Clever, isn't it? The computer voice helps you find your way. But how does it know where we want to go? You tell it. Uh, hello, Mrs. Camper Van. Hello. We're going on holiday. Can you tell us the way? Proceed on the current road in a straight line. Thanks for your help, Grandad Dog. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. Follow the road ahead in a straight line. We're going, We're going to, to Duckland duck in a camper van. Welcome to Duckland. <laughs> How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Enjoy the ducks! Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. <laughs> the ducks always turn up when... when we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. <laughs> Look, it's the ducks. <laughs> Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> All right. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Here come more ducks. All our brothers and sisters are here. And here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. <laughs> ho, ho! You're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. <laughs> it is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. Drive straight ahead into the river. Oh, are you sure? Yes, 
drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes, it's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. <laughs> The camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> <laughs> Our camper van has turned into a boat. I wasn't quite expecting that. Welcome to the car of the future. Look, it's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig. <coughs> uh, ahoy there. Beep, beep. Sailing on the river. going for your birthday, Freddy? I don't know, but I can't wait to get there. <laughs> We're here! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park! Ooh! Dinosaur! <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. Are there really dinosaurs here? No, just pretend ones. Phew. Real dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. Edmund knows a lot about dinosaurs. He is a clever clogs. But we've got better than real dinosaurs. We've got singing dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs. Listen to us now. <laughs> They're a bit small. Yes. Aren't dinosaurs meant to be big? Ah, oh, yes. We do have a big dinosaur. A real whopper. Uh, would you like to meet it? Yes, yes, please. These are its footprints. We just have to follow them. Ooh. These footprints look very real. Are you sure there's no living dinosaurs about, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, quite sure, Daddy Pig. Over the boulders, everyone! <laughs> Across the bridge! <laughs> Through the cave! <laughs> oh, the footprints have stopped. Look! There are some green steps. It's a big slide! Whee! 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 Wow! It's a big dinosaur! Yes! It's my whopping ginormous dinosaur slide! Ah! I'm just going into the garden to collect slugs and snails. Why? Grandpa doesn't like slugs and snails because they eat his vegetables. And the best time to find them is at night with this torch. Can George and me come too? Please? <laughs> OK. Just this once. Put your coats and boots on. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their coats and boots over their pyjamas. You carry the bucket, Pepper, and I'll hold the torch. Don't stay out too late, Grandpa Pig. OK, okay Granny Pig. <laughs> we'll put all the slugs and snails in the bucket. Ah, one little snail. Two little snails. <laughs> and a slug. Ugh. Slugs are yucky. <laughs> Here are Grandpa Pig's chickens. Sarah, Jemima, Vanessa and Neville. Hello, chickens. I need to put the chickens to bed. Night-night, chickens. Night-night, chickens. Night-night. Why aren't the slugs and snails in bed, Grandpa? because they're up all night eating my vegetables. Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens, and some animals eat at night, like, oh, Mr Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. <laughs> <laughs>
Jolly good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, good night. night. Now, as I was saying, some animals eat at night, like... <laughs> oh, hello. Grandpa, there's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, it's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog. <coughs> oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I like hedgehogs. They are very good at keeping slugs and snails off my lovely lettuce. <laughs> Bye-bye, Hedgehog. Bye-bye. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa loves Susie. Susie loves Peppa. They are best friends. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, why don't you and Susie go and play in your bedroom? Yes, Bobby. <laughs> George wants to play too. <laughs> Peppa and Susie love playing in Peppa's bedroom. <laughs> so does George. <laughs> no, George. This game is just for big girls. Go and play with your own toys. Peppa and Susie want to play on their own. I'm a tiny little fairy princess. <laughs> I'm going to wave my magic wand. <laughs> And turn you into a frog. <laughs> George doesn't like playing on his own. George wants to play too. No, George. I play with Susie. You have to play somewhere else. George wants to play with Pepper. He feels a bit lonely. George, I need some help. I'm making chocolate chip cookies. Someone needs to lick out the bowl. <laughs> George likes helping Mummy make cookies. But he likes playing with Pepper more. I want to be a nurse. I want to be a doctor. But who's going to be the sick person? <laughs> Candy Cat and Pedro Pony are on the climbing frame. Nay. Meow. Wee. Susie Sheep, Danny Dog and Rebecca Wee. Rabbit are playing on the Wee. slime. <laughs> Wee. Nah. Wee. Wee. Peppa is playing on the swing. Mummy, Mummy, push me, please. Are you ready? Yes, I want to go really high. <laughs> Hiya, Mummy! <laughs> George wants to play on the swing. Now it's your turn, George. <laughs> Hold tight. I want to push George. Push George gently, Pepper. Yes, Mummy. Hold tight, George. <laughs> Wee! <gasps> Oh dear, Pepper has pushed George too high. George does not like being up high. Pepper, you know George is a bit scared of heights. Sorry, George. <laughs> Let's play on the climbing frame. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Hello, Danny. Hello, Hello Pepper. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> You were doing it all wrong. This is the proper way to swing across. Stand back. Ready, steady, go! Whee! Look at me! I'm flying like a bird. <laughs> oh, I can't get out. 
Peppa is stuck in the tyre. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Well, it does look a bit funny. <laughs> we'll have to pull you out. <laughs> Peppa's friends are helping to free her. What a lot of noise. <laughs> Let's see who is the loudest. OK, I'll go first. <gasps> squeak, squeak! That was quite loud. Now it is Zoe Zebra's turn. <gasps> now Susie Sheep. <laughs> now Danny Dog. <laughs> that was very loud. My turn. <laughs> My turn. Nay. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Peppa is the loudest. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, you try. I'm not too sure. Please, Please Emily. Emily. OK, I'll try. <gasps> <gasps> My goodness, that was loud. Wow. <laughs> Do it again. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Emily is not shy anymore. <laughs> Emily, would you like to play my favourite game? What is your favourite game? Jumping in muddy puddles. That's my favourite game too. Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Emily loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. This looks like fun. Yippee! Madam Gazelle loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Emily, have you enjoyed your first day at our playgroup? Yes, Madame Gazelle. And I see you've made lots of new friends. Yes. <laughs> Emily Elephant is my friend. <laughs> and Emily is my friend. And mine. And mine. And mine. And mine. And mine. <laughs> Emily, who do you like best? Um, I like Susie and Danny and Zoe and Rebecca and Pedro and Pepper. <laughs> Can Pepper and George come to our house tomorrow? Yes! Hooray! <laughs> Why is Richard crying? He's a bit scared of going downstairs. Why? We don't have stairs in our home. What? No stairs? That's right. You'll see tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> it is morning. Pepper and George are going to Rebecca Rabbit's house today. Mummy Pig can drive and I'll do the map reading. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? We always get lost when you do the map reading. <laughs> we won't get lost. OK. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Mummy, Mummy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Pepper and George are very excited. They have never been to Rebecca Rabbit's house before. Daddy, are we nearly there? The map says Rebecca's house is on the next hill. I don't understand. This should be where Rebecca Rabbit lives. We must be lost. There's just this garden of carrots. Where can Rebecca Rabbit's house be? Squeak! Hello, everyone. Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> Rebecca! Do you want to play in my bedroom? Your bedroom? But where is your house? Pepper cannot see Rebecca's house anywhere. This hill is our house. It's called a burrow. Ooh! I'll show you. See you later. See you later. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have stairs. We have tunnels. Wow! Rebecca's house is a bit different to Peppa's. This is our bedroom. Wow! You have a bed and a window and a toy box, just like us. Of course. <laughs> I like your house. I wish I was a rabbit. I know. Shall I teach you both how to be rabbit? Yes, please. <coughs> First, 
you have to twitch your nose and squeak like this. Squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, what is a museum? It's a place full of interesting things that are very old. Older than you? Yes, even older than me. Ooh, really old. <laughs> <laughs> There's one room full of things that belong to kings and queens from long ago. <gasps> I want to see the king and queen's room. And there's another room with a real dinosaur. Wow! Dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Dinosaur. <laughs> and a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper wants to see the room full of things that belonged to kings and queens from long ago. Wow! Dinosaur? But George wants to see the real dinosaur. <laughs> Don't worry, George. We will see the dinosaur next. <laughs> Pepper, these are all the things that the Queen had a long time ago. This is the Queen's special chair. It's called a throne. It's beautiful. This is the Queen's dress. It's so pretty. Look, Pepper. This is the Queen's golden crown. Wow! What lovely things. Mummy, where is the Queen's television? They didn't have television then. <gasps> no television? But they did have computers. No, they didn't have computers either. What did they do all day? <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, if I was the queen, I would eat as much cake as I wanted. Peppa imagines being a queen. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> delicious. Is there anything else you would care for, Queen Peppa? Yes. More cake, please. Of course. <laughs> it is morning. Peppa and her family have come to the library. <laughs> wow! What a lot of books! Shh! Peppa, you must be quiet in the library. Because people come here to read and to be quiet. Next, please. Miss Rabbit is the librarian. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you returning these books? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Right you are. Why is the computer beeping? It's checking to see that you haven't been naughty and borrowed the book for too long. Um, I may have borrowed this book for a bit too long. <laughs> Don't worry, Daddy Pig. It can't be that bad. Gosh! Daddy Pig, you've had this book out for ten years. Naughty Daddy! Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's all right. Now you can borrow another book. Miss Rabbit, can George and I borrow a book, please? Yes. The children's section is over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Berries, flowers. Pretty dresses. <coughs> hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Danny. I'm borrowing a book about football. <laughs> hello, Peppa. <coughs> hello, Susie. I've got a book about nurses. <coughs> George has chosen a book about dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <coughs> <coughs> Look what I found. Further adventures in the world of concrete. Here's a red monkey book. Not the red monkey book. It's boring. But this is a different story. It might be more fun. I bet it's not. Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. <gasps> he had a bath, cleaned his teeth and went to bed. No. He jumped in a space rocket and went to the moon. Ooh. He had a picnic with a dinosaur, he swam under the sea and climbed the highest mountain. That was a busy day. The end. Wow!
This is the hospital. Pepper and her friends have come to visit Pedro Pony. Remember, children, stay close to me. I don't want you getting lost. Yes, Madame Gazelle. Excuse me, Mr. Bull. Which way is the children's ward? Down the steps, double doors, right, left, right, along the corridor, up the stairs, third on your left. Ah. Or you could just take the left. <laughs> <laughs> Children's ward! <laughs> Pedro will be asleep. Sick people do a lot of sleeping. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. Why aren't you asleep? You don't look sick. I broke my leg and they put it in this plaster cast. Wow! The plaster cast helps Pedro's leg get better. I grazed my knee and I got a plaster too. Wow! Do you want to draw on my plaster cast? Yes, please. The children are all doing drawings on Pedro's plaster cast. I'm drawing a football. I've drawn some flowers. Mr Potato. A carrot. <laughs> and I've drawn a muddy puddle. Wow! Thanks, everyone. You can draw on my plaster too. OK, I'll draw a little flower. Thank you, Pedro. Pedro, what's it like being in hospital? It's great. What are the nurses like? They give me stickers. Wow. And they come whenever I press this button. Who's that? I wonder. Could it be Pedro? What do you want, Pedro? We are very busy. I've got a bit of an itch. Even if your leg is itching, we can't take the cast off until your leg is better. It's not my leg that's itching. It's my ear. Is that better? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Pepper, George, the dentist will see you now. Hooray! <laughs> this is Dr Elephant, the dentist. Hello, Pepper. Have you been brushing your teeth? Yes, Dr Elephant. Good. Now, who's first? I'm first because I'm a big girl. <laughs> Watch me, George. Sit in the chair, please. <laughs> Hold tight. Whee! <laughs> Open wide, please. Ah! Wider, please. Ah! Now, let's take a look. Dr Elephant uses a little mirror to look at Pepper's teeth. I hope you haven't been eating too many sweeties, Pepper. <coughs> it is quite difficult to speak when your mouth is wide open. <coughs> <laughs> there. All done. What lovely clean teeth. She takes after me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have the special pink drink now? Yes, but don't drink it, Pepper. Spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> George, now it's your turn. No. George does not want it to be his turn. Maybe you can hold Mr Dinosaur while the dentist looks at your teeth. <laughs> Grr, dinosaur. <laughs> Very pleased to meet you, Mr Dinosaur. It's not a real dinosaur. It's made of plastic. <laughs> Hold tight. You're doing very well, George. Now, can you show me your teeth? George does not want to show the dentist his teeth. George, open wide like this. Ah! <laughs> ah! ah, there they are. All done. You have very strong, clean teeth, George. Are they as lovely as mine, Dr Elephant? Ah! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> George is very proud to have clean teeth.